So here we have the next Erica Sims Fusion Series module, the voltage controlled filter. It's got two inputs with level control, cutoff and resonance, and two CV inputs. And the first CV input has attenuation as well. The unit is a low pass filter, but it doesn't respond or act like a normal filter. There's loads of tube drive on offer and the resonance can really scream and self oscillate to create some really thick driven sounds with plenty of tonal shaping on offer with different cutoff settings. So I'll get stuck into the sounds in a few patches to demonstrate how this works. We'll start by looking at the basic sound of the module. So it's a tube filter, but we're really talking tube distortion and tonal shaping here. It sounds very different to a traditional filter. I've got a sine wave going into the unit and as I turn up the gain, you can hear this gorgeous thick tube drive. Cut off offers some tonal variation, but we're not getting traditional filtering here. Adding in some resonance, the unit really starts to come to life. Also, remember this is just the sine wave going in. Taking the input level down, the tube resonance becomes even more prominent. And taking the input level all the way down, the unit does self oscillate. Moving on to a richer wave, here's a saw wave, and it's nice and fat with that tube drive. bringing in the resonance, and as before, it really comes to life. So if you're looking for tube saturation and tonal shaping, this unit's perfect for that. So now we've looked at the basic sound, we'll move on to a basic patch to show off the features of the unit. I've got a triangle wave going into the unit, which is saturated and distorted with the input level up full. And I'm also going to add a second input to the unit, which is a sub-square wave. And like with one input, with two we can still clip both of these and use it as a wave shaping mixer. Adding a pitch sequence to the oscillator providing the inputs, I'll play around with the filter as the sequence plays. I'll add an envelope to the filter and CV input 1 has attenuation which here is up full so as this plays I'll play around with the envelope settings Because we've got two CV inputs, I'll mix in a second modulation source, which is going to be a clocked sample and hold, clocked at the same rate as the sequence. So here I look at the unit self oscillating. I've got some CV inputs, but no actual input to the filter. Turning up the CV attenuator, I've got the envelope here, which is moving this tube oscillation. I'll then add in some effects to a patch, and here's some delay. And after that some spring reverb as well. So that gives us some nice driven tube oscillation that's not entirely predictable. Turning down the effects, I'll add a sample and hold into CV input 2. And then adding in the effects again, we've got some great retro synth effects.
changing from modular signals to external signals now, I've got a bass guitar plugged into an Annie module, tranny module to bump the instrument level up to modular going into the filter and then I'm coming straight out of the filter into my sound card. So with full input and no resonance, here's the sound. So we've got a nice and thick sound with that tube drive. Adding in some resonance, we start to get some really growling fuzz and here the cutoff acts like a feedback control, changing the sound of that resonance added in. So here's even more resonance. And then turning up the cutoff, we can sort of tune that feedback as well. And finally, I'll have a quick play around on the bass to show how the unit sounds. So here I'll use the tube filter to process an effect send. I've got a simple sequence running that's also multied out into a delay. Turning down the dry sound and turning the delay sound up, we've got the delay's output going through the filter, which we can drive and filter and shape that delay sound with. Bringing in the original sound as well as the delay and filter sound, I play around with the delay and the tube filter. So the final thing I look at is running drum sounds through the unit. I've got a nice clean house drum loop playing out my computer and going through a tranny module which is bumping it up to modular levels and then that's going straight into the output so that you can actually hear the clean sound first. Taking that out of the output and taking it into the filter and taking the filter's output to the sound card, here's the sound. you immediately get this fat tube drive which can be subtle at lower input levels. And the cutoff provides some nice tonal shaping. Adding in some resonance, the unit really starts to scream and gets a little more aggressive. So the sound here sums up the sound well for me when it turns a clean drum part into a really driven thick sound that's got some great tonal shaping between the cutoff and resonance. The unit really excels as something more exciting and full on than a standard filter and with a tube it doesn't respond like a normal low pass filter anyway. But to be honest I don't really want it to. It sounds great at the start of a patch taking raw waveforms or further into a patch as a distortion effect being able to add warmth and thickness or all out tube madness. I hope you've liked this video, check out the other Erica Fusion series videos on my channel and watch out for the last two modules in the Fusion series coming in new videos soon. Hit subscribe and like below and feel free to ask any questions in the comments.